the show was cool. Super short. Really enjoyed it. Looking forward to season two. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Supercell. It's a Netflix show, six episodes. They're about 50 minutes each. It's a British show, so it's a lot of British slang thrown there at times, and I'd be like, what are they saying? But it sounds really cool. Anyway, Supercell is a mutation of Sickle Cell. I'll just leave it at that. There are five main characters. It is a very character-driven show. Yes, there are superpowers involved, but the powers don't take over the show. It's all about the characters and what's going on in their lives. So there's Michael, Andre, Taser, Rodney, and Sabrina. Gonna start with Michael. I believe he's the leader. He is a delivery driver. He has a girlfriend he wants to marry. He's trying to do everything correct with her. He's taking care of his mom as well. His powers is teleporting and stopping time like Professor X did in the X-Men movies. He teleports to the future. He sees his future self. The guy's like, hey, I need you to get these other four people together. You guys need to work together to stop the hoods. And the hoods are a part of the bad company. The show doesn't really spend too much time with the bad people. We get glimpses of their like operations. They always watching on camera, but like by episode five or six, that's when we finally like see some of the bad characters. Um, other than that, it's really focused on these main characters. So we have Andre. Andre went to jail. He's out of jail. He's trying to do better. He he went to jail for something real small, but he's trying to do better to spend more time with his son. He's trying to be employed, but they look up his background and they're like, oh, you went to jail and they fire him. So he's he's just trying to do things so he can spend time with his son, do right by his son. His power is super strength. Taser is probably the most interesting, so I'm going to save him for last. We have Rodney. Rodney is a dope dealer. He got kicked out by his mom, and the mom's new boyfriend doesn't really like him because he's kind of racist. Uh, Rodney gets super speed and super healing. He seems a little out of place, though. Like, like he doesn't really want to sell. He's, like, too eager to sell the weed, if that makes any sense. Sabrina is a nurse. She works hard. She lives with her sister. She is, she seems to be the most balanced person in the beginning. You know, she's in a relationship, although she's being cheated on, and then that makes her a little, you know, unhinged. But she has the power of telekinesis. She can also fly, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, Taser is the guy. He seems like the youngest one. He's in a gang. He's trying to be tough. He's trying to be the leader of this gang because... The former leader went away to prison and now Taser is like, he's the bloods in London, essentially, because the people he fighting wear blue and he wears red. His power is invincibility. We spent a lot of time with Taser throughout the whole series because he's he's the one trying to use his powers for like bad stuff. Every character has, I guess I would call them an Alfred, someone they can talk to about their abilities. Like, hey, I got these abilities. I don't know what happened. The first episode is just us meeting each character, seeing their day-to-day -day lives and what they do. And it's a great introduction to everyone. Like I said, Michael is the main person. So the first episode is mostly about him. And he has that ability to go into the future to do things. So as the story progresses and each episode is named after a character, we start seeing more of what they want to do with their abilities or how they manage in their abilities. Like I said, Michael is trying to find these people because all he has is names hey this is you looking for andre taser sabrina and rodney he's like how the heck i'm supposed to find these people I, like i got first names so he's just freaking out about that taser like i said wants to do gang stuff he wants to start selling weed he wants to do a lot of stuff because he can turn invisible steal stuff turn invisible kill people because that's what he does sabrina doesn't want anything to do with her power she's just like freaked out that it happens and it's messing her up at her job being a nurse. Uh, Rodney, he well, he sells weed. So he's like, if I can get you the weed in five minutes or less, it's free or something. So he's just zooming around selling weed, doing his thing, staying 
out of big trouble, but making money. Andre doesn't really know what to do with his strength, but he needs money because it's hard for him to find a job after spending some time in prison. Like I said, superpowers are there. Their eyes flicker. You may see it in the trailer or in the poster. Their eyes like flicker a little bit and that's when their powers are being activated, but it doesn't overwhelm the show. It's not like powers all the time. You know, they, they happen usually in stressful situations. I really enjoyed everyone's story. Their lives are happening. They're maneuvering, you know, every day and everything starts to get intertwined and other people, like one character may know somebody by one name and the other character known by a different name, but it's the same person. And they just, they start mixing and matching and Michael starts coming across these guys. And of course they like, uh, I don't really believe you, but cool, whatever. I don't want to do this Avenger type thing. I don't want to join up and, and stop anyone. I'm, I'm living my life. I'm doing my own thing. I'm going to use the powers the way I want to or not to. So nobody really wants to work together until bad things start happening and it all starts coming together. And it was just, it was really cool. Just seeing everyone get comfortable using their ability. Cause you know, at first it was a lot of like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops, I do. That's an accident. Like Rodney with his speed, he ran all the way to Scotland by accident because he was trying to catch a bus. Michael teleported to the future by accident. Cause you know, it was just stuff like that. So as they get more comfortable in the future, you see them doing a little bit more with their abilities. Rather in the present, you don't really see them do everything that they can do yet. So I, I, I like that. We can see that in the season two. Like I said, season two, it looks like it's going to be a, a interesting season because we get we starting to get a little bit more details about the bad guys and what they're up to in episode five and six. I know it's a lot. It's a lot of characters to, to follow, but it's an interesting show. It's a cool show. And like by the end of every episode, I'm like, I need to see what happens next. You know, and you might spend more time with a certain character. Like, like I said, Taser to me is the most interesting one because he has a lot going on. Um, being the young one, being raised by his grandmother, trying to lead a gang. And it takes him a while to come around to like wanting to be around the other people. Michael is the guy just trying to get everybody together. He he is the leader. He's the one trying to, you know, make sure everyone comes together for the greater good rather than just killing random people. Um, but Supercell, I enjoyed it. I liked it. If you're looking for something on Netflix to watch, I recommend it. If you watch the show, let me know what you thought about it. Thank you for watching.